Wow! 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 Hey, feeling good. Like I should. What up my dudes, welcome back to my channel. Today is the second episode of this series I somehow created where I basically eat my followers recipes for a week. Now, if you're new here, check out episode one. I will somehow link it. Basically what I do is I ask my Instagram followers what their favorite blah 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 recipes are. I am going to be eating my followers lunch recipes for a week. I got a hell of a lot of responses. So it was hard to pick the ones that were like super interesting. If you like to participate in future videos like these well the first thing you need to do is follow me on instagram and that is nourishing underscore emma if you're one of those people who submitted a recipe on my instagram well keep watching this video to find out whether or not i tried out your recipe what up so today is monday it's lunchtime and i'm just about to make it what the hell that sounded so bad <laughs> Anyways, the number one thing that I got from you guys was wraps. You guys seem to love your wraps so much. I picked out one that seemed kind of interesting. So, shout out to Plant Based Bites on Instagram. She suggested a mountain bread wrap with roasted veggies and chickpeas, avocado, spinach, tempeh, tomato sauce and nutritional yeast now that that sounds like a wrap now it specifically said mountain bread but i don't have mountain bread and please don't shoot me in the foot i'm not going to be using mountain bread today i was going to go out and buy it but i'm trying to save a little cash here i'm going to be using these wraps <sighs> Okay, so I just roasted some vegetables. She didn't really specifically say, but to me, roast veg is just potatoes and pumpkins. So that's what I have. Then I've just roasted some chicken. Oh my God, that looks disgusting. And some tempeh here. Yes, I know this is a lot for a wrap. I am planning to eat some of this for dinner as well. Here's my lovely spread. Now let's go make the wrap. So wrap this baby up let's see if i can do it oh no oh my god i'm doing it lunch is served lunch is served it smells amazing i've just never had like roasted vegetables in the wrap before so here we go <laughs> plant-based bites. I'm seriously gonna have like a bajillion of these. Happy Tuesday my dudes. I'm in my robe right now because I just came back from the gym and I had a shower and I cannot lift my shoulders. They're really fatigued right now. Today's lunch is gonna be something I've never even tried before because I've kind of been freaked out about it. Two people requested this lunch and that is chickpea tuna sandwiches. Shout out to Sid Tron. I don't know if that's how you say your username but your username is like <laughs> and Chloe she's cruelty free Chloe on Instagram and YouTube so thank you a bucket ton you guys for the suggestion Chloe actually said that she adds mustard to it and then mashes up the chickpeas and puts it with veggies and stuff I'm actually terrified for this one thought of it like I don't know <laughs> let's go make some lunch so I have a bowl of chickpeas ready to be mashed I reread what I was meant to put in it said yellow mustard well <laughs> I didn't buy yellow mustard I bought Dijon so that will have to do I've never tried mustard in my life so this better be good and I don't know how much to put in. That looks like a lovely amount. I got my weapon of choice. Ugh. Not gonna lie though, this kind of smells pretty good. So, okay, dude, what the heck? Why does this actually look legit? I'm kind of confused. It, it actually looks good, but I feel like I'm just making it into a paste now, so I should probably stop. <laughs> oh, that shook the entire room. Hello! So, now that my uh, chickpea tuna is done, God, I hate saying that, it just grosses me out. I'm gonna make the sandwich. Now, I didn't really specify what vegetables I can put in it, so I'm gonna put whatever I want. This is the bread I'm gonna be using. It's just Abbott's Farmhouse Whole Meal. It's the only bread I currently have. That 
is a sandwich. Bone apple to the T. All right. There is this lovely delicacy. I cut it in half and this is what it looks like. First bite. Whoa. Wow. Okay. What in the world? Okay. Why haven't I discovered this earlier? That is freaking phenomenal. Oh my god. Thank you, Chloe and Citron. <laughs> I'm in love with this thing, like, oh, oh, it's so good. Psych, I'm the Black Hood. So for today's lunch, it is brought to you by lovely Lucy. Shout out to you, girl. She suggested tempeh marinated in apple cider vinegar and liquid aminos on avo hummus toast with tomatoes and carrots never really had that before um i'm gonna make some adjustments so lucy don't shoot me all right just let me explain myself the tempo i normally buy is already marinated therefore i feel like i don't really need to marinate it in liquid aminos because it's practically marinated in tamari sauce anyway that's the only adjustment i'm gonna make what we have new bread so obviously my family are like really good at communicating with me that we have new bread. This is Helga's wholemeal grain. Grain, I love grain bread. Oh my God. This next segment is gonna be inspired by Zach from Zach Bites. Dude, that was close. Dude, no. Oh my God, I am so good at this. Oh crap, oh. Oh my God. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I can't get over that tomato. <laughs> what I ended up doing was putting the tomato on the bread because I can't eat a tomato like that. Wow, wow, wow. This is amazing. What? Holy moly. If you want some ideas for your toast, definitely do tempeh and avocados. Healthily Lucy, um, that's a really great suggestion. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Today is Thursday and I'm kind of in a rush this morning because I have work at 9.30. Yeah, you got to shoot me in the foot when I say this. So please be nice. Today's lunch is something that I've already had but I haven't had this since like last year or two years ago. So yeah. Oh my God food underscore, I think, suggested a Lebanese wrap with hummus, falafel, lettuce, cucumber, avocado, tomato, and red cabbage. The only thing is I don't have Lebanese bread because it's broken into bajillion pieces. I don't have red cabbage, but I'm gonna substitute it for red onion. Let's go make it. Breaking. That's perfect. Except for the split. I did it. Minus, you know, got a little cut, but I did it. So um, I uh, never ended up doing like a little taste test for you all because A, I kind of completely forgot and B, I was actually, you know, working and I only have 15 minutes to eat it. But I can tell you right now, two weeks ago from eating it, that that wrap was freaking bomb, okay? That was a really great suggestion. And I have been making falafel wraps ever since. <laughs> God, I am a mess. I just got back from the gym, I'm showered, and I'm back in my pajamas because I live in my pajamas. Today's lunch is brought to you by underscore jess.frame. Oh, I hope I'm really saying that right, sorry. So they suggested quick vegan chili nachos with nutritional yeast and hummus. Now the thing is, she didn't specifically say what she puts in her nachos. I was gonna go message her, but like if she doesn't reply in like five minutes, well then I'm literally gonna like starve to death because I'm really starving right now. I'm just gonna make vegan chili nachos my way but make sure there's chili involved and i'm definitely going to put some hummus and nutritional yeast on top so we have some onion and garlic in the pan and over here we're gonna have some red capsicum and diced tomato black beans as well oh and i forgot i'm going to be using some posada cooking sauce to make a sauce and i cannot forget 
chili flakes because these are vegan chili nachos am i right of it now I'm gonna try it because I am freaking keen I have no words <laughs> these nachos are a winner Alrighty, that concludes the end of today's video, my dudes. I really hope you like episode two of this series. Let me know if you'd like me to do a dinner series. And if you want to participate in that dinner series, follow me on my Instagram. I had a lot of fun making this video. Thank you all for the support and love. If you like this, give this a big, humongous, ginormous, gigantic thumbs up for me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I hope you have the best day ever. And I'll catch you in my next video, my dudes. Okay, bye. <laughs>